tractor's on the front porch singing old familiar song. The tractor's in the barn and the pastor's freshly mown. Looking through the screen door, the aroma draws you in to the heart of the home where old memories begin. Cooking with her friends, sharing recipes together, stories and songs, making new memories the heart of the home. Hi folks, welcome back to Harris Farm and Heart of the Home. Everybody knows that my kitchen is my heart. I love cooking and I love sharing recipes. And today my friend Barry Scott is back. I'm so glad you're back. Have Good you finished my song yet? Still working on it. Still I'll working get on it. it. Well, I, I have all the, the confidence in the world in you. Well, thank you. You and I talked about being a single dad, working a couple of jobs, budgets. And when your kids say, Daddy, can we order pizza? Honey, it's $35 to order pizza. You're exactly right. So I'm going to teach you. I made this for your band one night. You and sure I did. noticed I made 60. And honey, those <laughs> boys scarfed them up. We can put so, away some food. That's for yes, sure. Yes, yes. So I'm going to teach you to make baby pizzas. Now, okay. at our house, cool. we do these every Christmas. This is, instead of Christmas dinner, the kids just want junk food. So we make baby pizzas, and we've been doing it for about 20 years. Um, the ingredients for this, so simple. Now, I usually make Daddy's homemade spaghetti sauce. It's in our Habit Sanity cookbook. Mm -hmm. But today, because you are a single dad, and I don't want to get you all complicated, we're going to use ragu <laughs> Please sauce. Please don't. <laughs> no, we're going to do something simple. We're going to use ragu sauce, and we brown ground beef with a little bit of diced up onions, Hungry Jack biscuits and mozzarella cheese. Now, is that simple enough? Sounds pretty simple to me. Are those yep. ingredients you can keep in your cabinet? Sure can. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, um, what we're going to do, and and I learned this quickly. I think the first time I did this, I didn't separate the biscuit. It was too much dough. It was too. Much dough. So we are going to. That just popped right open. Honey, Mom, was that perfect? Timing? We used to have to like bang them on the counter to oh, get, yeah. get oh, Mama no, to open. Oh yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> Hungry Jack must know that they may get a little that's plug right. out of this. And what you do is you take these and you just really thin them, thin, 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 thin. And you've separated the biscuits. So if there are 10 in there, you end up getting 20 of these. Okay. And uh, that's how, you know, the night I made it for you guys, I made 60. And, and it is really budget, budget, because um, not much money involved in this. Now, can you separate one of those okay. like I'm I sure doing? will. And now when the girls come in and holler, Daddy, can we order pizza? You're going to say what now? I'm going to put my apron on and say, Dad's making supper. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. And I'm saving money. That's right. That's <laughs> right. And that's what it's all about. And, you know, honestly, with, with the price of gas and everything so crazy, everybody has to budget. So, and, and kids need to understand that, you know. Um, my girl, especially Cassie, she likes helping like that oh, anyway. Good. You know, she yeah. likes getting involved in well, this is my so. little granddaughter Emily's favorite thing. In Christmas, we do this for Emily because we just love to have this for Emily. And um, she actually, I, you know, I have one granddaughter, Tori, who's going to Savannah College of Art and Design. Mm -hmm. Now, Emily wants to do that. So I'm really pleased with that because these girls are um, a little bit artsy, a little bit <laughs> smart. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Now that one didn't come apart right. Oh, no. Well, I can't <laughs> fire you because you're working for free. So... <laughs> cheap i like cheap men what is that song uh if i'm uh if i am what i eat then i'm fast cheap and easy <laughs> is that a song you're writing <laughs> yeah you're gonna write that i'm song. gonna write it and sing it for you yes yes if i am what i eat then i'm fast cheap and easy so we'll have to convince your That's girls that this is fun it is a good recipe though so should we try to salvage that no, one let's don't salvage that just... let's don't uh, no no let's don't do that <laughs> i don't want you, you to know, get I sick of like... me now Throw it at the camera guy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's one thing about having a crew around. They're always hungry. So, um, you know, we always fix things that we think they're going to like. Now, Barry, I want you We got to, another pan? We're going to do another pan, but we're going to put this one in the oven first so it can okay. be cooking. I need you to add. Now, remember, this is just ground beef. Okay. There you go. Open your ragu and add it to that. This is so simple and so inexpensive. Once a can of biscuits cost about $1.21 or something. Something like that, yep. Yeah, not bad at all. Not How bad much rag do we want here? For this, because we want it, you okay. know, like pizza sauce is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Just pour it in there. There you go. And and if you want, you know, I mean, I love promoting the Habitat Cookbook, and that's 
a great recipe. It's my dad's spaghetti recipe, but for a single dad, I'm not going to put you through that kind of pressure. <laughs> I'm not going to make you learn how to make daddy's spaghetti, although it is easy once you get it kicked. Now, yeah, that's about the right consistency. Now, okay. And the trick to this is you put about one spoonful. Don't over just one spoonful on each one of these biscuits, and then you cover it in the mozzarella cheese and bake it. Now, how simple was this? Very simple. And yes. how fast was this? Very quick. And how dirt cheap was this? Dirt cheap. <laughs> dirt cheap. Now, does your daddy hunt? Do you ever have deer in the freezer? No, daddy never. We used to, he used to like squirrel hunt and stuff like that. Daddy, Ooh, was, daddy no was always in the in the kitchen picking the guitar while mom was cooking. Okay, so okay. he was the music maker. But now we well, didn't do I, much hunting. My children have probably eaten a lot of moose baby pizza. <laughs> yeah, they don't know it, but, but they have because... <laughs> J.S. always killed a moose, and I always killed deer, and so we had um, that in the freezer, and that's when I started making this, when we had all this meat, and I thought, what am I going to do with it? So it just worked, and uh, the kids didn't know they were eating moose, but honey, they've eaten a lot of moose. I'd like to try this with some deer meat. Oh, yeah. I've yeah. got some deer meat. Joe, my banjo player's uh -huh. got a, he's, he's killed some deer over the summer and brought me some meat. Over so. the summer? Can't kill them over the summer, bear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that show don't hunt. <laughs> Very. Deer season is not in the summer. <laughs> Maybe he picked it up on the freeway summer. <laughs> Road kill. <laughs> on the way down to Georgia. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know if we should have said that or not, but guys, we said it. Y'all just no. take it for what it is. <laughs> now, wasn't that simple? He might have just told me it was deer meat. It might have been a <laughs> possum or something. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Okay, now there's okay. your job. You have to right. open that. Let me make it. There's three, six, twelve, so each pan holds twelve. And really, we do make about six of these pans when we do it. So because it takes about seven. I'm gonna have to crowd. have a knife here, Sherry. Are you having trouble, Sunshine? I got it. Me, you got it. Okay. There we go. All right. Yeah, you make this better than you cook. Somebody <laughs> told me that. <laughs> I see you're having a little bit. <laughs> I wouldn't know about that either. There you go. And just, just drop put some it on, on there, there? Okay. just like yeah. Pretend you're working at Pizza Hut. There you go. Cool. I've done this before. Now was that simple and easy? Yep, that was pretty simple and pretty easy. It's expensive, guys. And remember, the ingredients are basic, and it's something that you keep in your cabinet. Um, or, now I do make daddy spaghetti sauce and keep it in the freezer in small containers. Uh -huh. And then I just take one out and thaw it if I know I'm going to do baby pizzas that night. So, something that's really easy. And I promise you, the kids will come back and want more. We have a little uh, granddaughter, Lily who absolutely adores these. And my favorite picture is Lily sitting here eating these. She's oh, a little yeah. tiny short thing and precious. Oh my gosh. I'm making a mess. That's okay, that's okay. Pretty cool, huh? So that how long simple. is it gonna take these to cook till we can eat it them? It takes these about eight to 10 minutes. Okay. And, uh, and, and just remember, watch them, don't let them get too done. And uh, there you go. And, and while this is cooking, we're gonna assemble another pan, guys. And when you come back, I want you to take, stay tuned. We're gonna have a commercial break. When you come back, we're going to serve these and see if you like them. Oh, you I'm think sure you're going to like will. these? Now, Barry, I'm going to put this in the oven now. Okay. okay. There you go. Now, that'll be ready in just a little time. Well, Barry, hot out of the oven. How fast was that? You made a believer right at me. How simple was that? How Very cheap simple. was that? That's, that's, that's it right there. <laughs> How cheap was that? How much money did we save? Uh, we saved a lot of money. <laughs> and and remember, guys, when you make this, we would make three pans of these, which would be 36 of them. Okay. And that feeds an average family and a bunch of ki kids who came over from the neighborhood. Feed 36 people. would feed me and my two kids. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. Now, we're going to let this cool. But um, you and I are going to do a simple, simple recipe next that uses apples. You like apples, and you're kind of a health nut, aren't you? Uh, I want to think that I am. You do. You, yeah, time. I know you work so. out a lot, and you do all those things. And uh, we're going to use apples, but the key to this apple recipe, it's not going to be. It, it's got a few calories in it, but okay. it's okay. That's okay. So we're going to do that next. We're going to let these cool, and then we're going to taste these. And tell me the ingredients. Can you remember them? The ground beef. Mm -hmm. uh, the... The uh, Prego sauce, the ragu, ragu, ragu. <laughs> ragu. It's made yeah. by Prego, isn't it? Ragu. Ragu. ragu, yeah, yeah, okay. And uh, the mozzarella cheese, 
And the canned biscuits. Canned biscuits. And that was so simple. Yeah. Very that simple. Was easy. That and was a lot easy. of fun to make, yeah, too. That was easy. And it is one of those things that you can help the girls do. And uh, now, when y'all practice, now you're going up to Nashville and practice, or are you going to um, Pigeon Forge? We've been going up to uh, uh, Matt lives in Newport, which is right outside of uh, Sevierville and, I and uh, Gatlinburg in that area. We've been going up there and practicing right. some. So. Now, is that where the gospel music TV shoots are done? They, there's, Isn't there a studio up there? Well, yeah, they, they shoot from the Grand Resort Hotel okay. up there, uh, which is on cable. And they yeah, show a lot of yeah. bands We on did. There. We had the most fun traveling. Heart of the Home has been on the road now 18 months. And we've done Pigeon Forge. We've done Gatlinburg. We've done Bryson City. And um, we have learned, honestly, um, we can turn anything into a kitchen. So <laughs> we've done the motor home. And um, haven't done it in a tent yet. Now, I'm not <laughs> sure I want to do Heart of the Home in a tent. But it's always fun to come back to Harris Farm because this is where it all started. You know, this is um, the idea is when um, Lori Tipton came out to do a story about uh, we were doing Habitat for Humanity and I was raising mm -hmm. money for Habitat and I'd done a cookbook. And she said, would you like to do a cooking segment on ETC? And I said, I don't know about that. And I said, well, sure, we'll try that. And 18 months later, and I love when I go out and people say, I love that recipe and I make it all the time. This is a recipe that people will make all the time. You know, and it's one that, that you won't forget and it's simple enough that your children will do it and you may come home and find dinner on the table. Well, that's what I was saying. What do you think thinking, about yeah, that? They cook for me sometimes. What do you think? Now, you work some weird shifts, don't you? Yeah, I work some odd hours. So, yeah, we're eating at different times and right. a lot of drive throughs a lot of times. Oh, no, spending. no, no. <laughs> and what was that sign? Fast, cheap, and easy. That's it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But, you know, today, nothing is fast, cheap, and easy. But this was fast, cheap, and easy, guys. And this is a recipe that we'll want you to share with your family. And you talked about you don't have to use just ground beef. You know, right. if you like or pepperoni, kind of cheese. yeah, pepperoni uh -huh. or sausage. If you want to use sausage for the base, you could do that. Or if you want to, I like that four pack Italian cheese that you buy at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. It's got four different cheeses in it. You could use that. I like pepper jack. Oh pepper. yeah, oh yeah, that would be good. And and my Nicholas takes this and then sprinkles the dried Parmesan cheese on it. Oh yeah. Oh, he loves that. So so this is an idea that you can uh, you can improvise it. And if your kids like one thing better than something else, then it's something that's easy to do. And something you're going to take home now and the girls are going to learn how to do. All right. Immediately. Yeah. Okay. Now, guys, we're going to do another quick and easy recipe for you. This is called apple dumplings. And my daughter-in-law, Charmin, had this recipe. And um, it, it is crescent rolls, apples, orange juice, cinnamon and sugar, and butter. So it's also something that you keep and don't have to run out to the store. Now, do you keep apples in the fridge? I know you like apples. We, uh, yeah, we keep apples and grapes and strawberries tend right, to keep some fruit in right. there yeah see i love pineapples but it's, it's rare to find good pineapples so um but being here and you know i go to mercier's orchard all the time they have great granny smith apples oh, they're the best yeah yeah they're good and they're good for recipes so um we're going to do that recipe next we're going to set these aside because these have got to cool just a little bit so and we can't try them? yes you're going to okay. try them barry but they're you want to try it now hey. try it try it <laughs> I think it'll get my hard. tongue burned. <laughs> Maybe. You've been burned in life before, honey. Oh, oh. That's perfect. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, good. Was it good? Very good. And mm. simple. Mm. And simple. Yep. Yeah. And and guys, remember, I am about simple. I mean, I just, I like doing simple things. Um, probably the hardest thing I'll ever teach you to do are my grandma's chicken and dumplings. And uh, if you look oh, yeah. at our website, now remember, we do have 32 um, videos on there now that are the 18 months. We've got chicken and dumplings, we've got chicken salad, we've got the baby pizzas, but we don't have a video of it, so now you've got a video of it. All so, right. And this is a recipe we've done for a long, long time. This is, when we come back now, guys, we're going to share the apple dumpling recipe with you. It's my daughter-in-law Charmin's recipe, and I've never made this. So you and I are going to do we're something learn together. together. All Absolutely. Right. I've never done this, but I think it's a good one. She makes it all the time, and my little granddaughter Emily makes it. So um, get your pen and pencil out. This is going to have crescent rolls, apples, cinnamon, sugar, butter. And we're going to bake it and an orange cheese. So it sounds really good. Stay tuned, guys. We'll be right back. We've got to pay for this thing now. Hi, folks. Barry and I are back. Now, I've got a sign that says, broken cookies don't have calories. <laughs> so far, we've made baby pizzas. Oh, they didn't break. So the calories the may calories be in them. The calories are still there. And now we're going to make apple dumplings. And this is a simple, simple recipe. Crescent rolls okay. and apples. And you're going to peel the apple for me, right? I'm going to try my best. Okay. Granny Smith Did you here. really ask for a city-fied apple peeler? 
Yes, I did. I don't I have admit. one, honey. You're just going to have to use this knife, so you just go right ahead. You peel apples, right, and we'll, we'll talk. And we'll talk about the fact that this is going to be new to both of us, because I've never made this recipe, guys. But I've seen my grandchildren enjoy it when their mom makes it. So, um, and, and my secretary said this morning, you got to do this recipe. It's a really good one. So, you're doing okay. Okay. Now, did your mom ever make jelly? Uh, my grandma did. Okay, yeah. I used mm -hmm. to save my apple peelings to make jelly. Apple jelly? Let me tell you something I learned. If you'll walk in the Blue Star and hit that second aisle, they sell every kind of jelly you need, honey. You don't have to make jelly. And it's in a squeeze bottle, too. Oh, honey, I love it. I love it. I, I used to make jelly, and I used to sweat over that stuff. And I did it because my mother-in-law said you were supposed to. Well, you're not supposed to make jelly. You can just throw those peelings away. We'll throw them to the birds, won't we? We'll do. We'll throw them to the birds. When you cut the... No, no I just, we're, we're just going to quarter them, okay. and we're going um, we're gonna to actually wrap them in the crescent rolls. The ingredients for this recipe are crescent rolls, Granny Smith apples, a cup of there. orange juice, two-thirds two cup of sugar, half a cup of melted butter, and then we're going to sprinkle that all with cinnamon and sugar. So, um, sounds and bake good it. to me. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds like it's going to smell good, too. And remember, this is a recipe I haven't tried, but I trust my daughter-in-law. She's a good girl. And boy, she has raised some good little granddaughters. Good girls, especially Miss Lily. Now, Miss Lily is Miss Lily is a world of her own. She is something else. She's seventh generation Harris Farm. And you need to meet her, Barry. I want to. Black curly hair, blue eyes, the sweetest thing you've ever seen. How am I doing? We're doing pretty good. Okay. I think those may be a little bit big. I think maybe cut I'm them. I'm going to cut them again. Okay. You know, we're, we're getting okay. there. All right. I can't fire you because you work too cheap. So <laughs> You're like me. We just do whatever it takes to make it work. Then you know, we started it. doing this because the Habitat cookbook was so much uh -huh. fun. And then this just kind of took off. And I've enjoyed it so much. We've met some great people. And we've had some good, good times. Now, I'm going to wrap that with the crescent roll. I had hoped to have Emily here today to help us, but things didn't work out. School just let out. You got stuck with me. Timing wasn't right. I don't feel like I'm stuck with you. I think I'm pretty happy to have you. Well, I'm glad to be here. It's been fun. You might get a song out of me here after a while. Honey, I'm going to get a song out of you before you leave today. We might even get Sherry to sing one. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I can barely play the radio. <laughs> oh, man. We need more than that? Is this enough or that's are we going to have to cut them I up any? That's good. Okay. You know, talking about singing, when we went over to Everett's Barn to hear you the other night, mm -hmm. I didn't tell you, but in the summer, when I used to come up from Atlanta to visit my aunt who lived in Shakerag, Georgia, we would go to Everett's Barn. And wow. That's 40 years ago, son. Everett's that's older than time. you are. How, are. how old are you? 40? We're not going to tell that. <laughs> okay. Well, I was in Everett's before you were born, so when you told me where you were going to be playing, I didn't want to tell you. I'd been there, done that. And I'd been there and done that a long time ago. But it was fun, and uh, I enjoyed that. It was, uh, talk about some memories. I remembered going there and, and thinking, boy, this is awesome. Of course, it's really small, isn't it? The tiny, small, yeah. tiny venue. Yeah. They have a lot of down there every week. They, they have a weekly jam session down there, and different bands come in. Yeah. And, and, uh, you know what surprised me? All the different countries that were represented that night. Did you see them, or were you in shock when they? I know you were really hyped up I that was, night because you yeah, were working hard. Yeah, my little that night. Yeah. Different countries. It was there. They had different countries uh, exchange students who would That's come right. there. That's right. Yeah. You're right. I yeah. remember that. They yeah, bought I some that of our was CDs. Pretty uh -huh. cool. So, now how about this? What do you think? That's that's looking like it's supposed to look. I think. I think we're done. I think you need to peel another apple. Okay. Okay. I'll do it. Peel me one more apple. And I think that'll fill this pan up. I don't know where Charmin got this recipe. I'm not sure if she got it out of a cookbook or somebody just shared it with her, but it's pretty neat. And I do love these Granny Smith apples. They're the best. Nelson Campbell and I did a really good recipe that had um, Granny Smith apples and uh, crescent rolls. And I said, I think I could win the Pillsbury Cook-Off because I love <laughs> to use these crescent rolls. They are just awesome. They are awesome. You're going to have to do me sometime and show me with something with peaches. That's my favorite. Oh, well. Peaches is my fruit. We my did thing. peach cobbler last week. And you weren't here. I think you were going to Gatlinburg or something. But, uh, Missed out on that yeah, one. Yeah, we did, we did peach cobbler last week. Peach cobbler is one of those things. I use that hint of brown sugar in it, mm -hmm. and people just can't quite figure it out. But the brown <laughs> sugar really makes a difference. 
It's really good. And you know, last year on Heart of the Home, I made my first apple pie. And people called in and said, were you serious about this? I dead serious. I'd never made an apple pie. But I have now. And that was a recipe that little Katie Pack gave me. So I love getting new recipes. I love doing new recipes, obviously, or I wouldn't be sitting here doing this one. What I'm do you gonna show you how to fix my cornflake cookies one of these days. Oh, you are. That's right. Yeah. That's right. But the only problem with those, you told me you couldn't eat just one. That they you can't. Are. I usually never get to the whole the end of the process, you know. I usually start eating it straight out of the bowl before I actually uh -oh. put them on the plate and pull them for a little bit. Wow. It's just, you can't hardly wait to... Well, and then a big neat. glass of milk to go with it. Makes yep. it better. Okay, now we are going to go... We're going to add the butter and the orange juice. And then we're going to pour it over the dumplings, and it's going in the oven. Now, you add the sugar. We've got okay. two-thirds cup of sugar. Okay. Just pour it in the batter. And... And I'll add the orange juice. And we will bake these and cover them with cinnamon and sugar. And I think the cinnamon and sugar, you just sprinkle it on it and do it to taste. Have you ever had anything like this before? Never have. I think it looks good and I think it's going to be really good. Now you added all the sugar to it, right? It's all, mm -hmm. you all got it, it all. Okay, all right, we got it. Well, Barry, this was a really, really simple recipe, guys. We've got it ready to throw in the oven. Come back every week to Heart of the Home. We'll see you again soon. It's been so much fun. Bye-bye.